continuing from my last video. Uh, this is my last video on differentiation from the first principle. So let me go back. Uh, this is the last video that we proved. Uh, in the last video, I proved that dy by dx of x cubed is 3x cubed, sorry, 3x squared. And this is your first principle. Where are we? So this is your first principle. dy by dx is limit when h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So using the same principle, the question is show how uh, to find the derived function. So derived, when they're saying derived function, they're talking about dy by dx. Okay, they're asking how you can find dy by dx for the function f of x is equal to 4x squared plus x minus 2 by using differentiation from the first principle. So let me use write the first principle. So dy by dx by the first principle is for the limit when h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Okay, so what is our f of x? So let us write. So f of x is whatever is given, that is 4 x squared plus x minus 2. So f of x plus h would be what you're doing is you're going to put x plus h in place of x. So in place of x, I'll put x plus h. So this will change to 4 times x plus h squared plus x plus h minus 2. Okay. So let us substitute this and this. Sorry, this and this in this. Therefore, I can say dy by dx is equal to this whole thing. That is 4 times x plus h squared plus x plus h minus 2. I'll put a big bracket here. Minus f of x, which is 4x squared plus x minus 2. The whole over h. I didn't write the limit, so I should start with the limit. So limit when h approaches 0. Okay. So, therefore, let me write, so dy by dx is equal to limit when h approaches 0 of. So, let us expand this. So, this is 4 times, we should be knowing the expansion by now, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus, let me close the bracket, uh, plus x plus h, I'll keep it as it is, minus 2, I'll open the bracket now, minus, uh, minus 4x squared, 4x squared minus x plus 2, so let me delete this bracket, this bracket doesn't make sense here, divided by the h, Okay, so this is equal to limit when h approaches 0 of, let, us, let me expand this, so this is 4x squared plus 8xh plus 4x squared plus h plus x plus h minus 2 minus 4x squared minus x plus 2, the whole over h. Okay, now let us do the cancellation. So what can be cancelled? So let us use a bright color. So this is 4x squared, minus 4x squared get cancelled. This is minus 2 and plus 2 can get cancelled. Can you cancel anything else? I don't think so. So let me bring a different color. Uh, so let me use a bright color and a thinner pen. Okay, so this will become, again, limit when h approaches 0. So this will be whatever has remained, that is 8xh plus 4h squared plus x plus h over h. Okay, 
So now I'm going to distribute this h to each of them. So I'll re rewrite. So limit when h approaches 0 of 8xh over h plus 4h squared over h plus, let me go back and look at the question. 8x plus 1 should be answer, okay. Plus, mm, this is mm, x. Am I doing some mistake here? Yeah, so this is my mistake. So this x, this x and minus x gets cancelled, okay. Am I right here? Yeah, so let me cancel this. So where are we? So let me use this pin now. So this is 8xh plus uh, plus h. Okay. Yeah. That's right. So this is always good to check because see, how could I know I'm not doing any magic here? How could I find my mistake? Because I know by the formula, the answer should be 8x plus 1. So I was not getting that, and that's why I'm modeling what you should be doing in your exam situation. So this is, so this H and this H gets cancelled. Okay, so yeah, so let me use a different color. I don't like this red. So, so this becomes limit when H approaches 0 of 8x plus... 4h plus 1. Now this is where you have to use your intuition. Now this h is almost 0. You can say for practical sense it is 0. So 0 times any number, so this becomes, this will become a 0. What I'm saying is this is approaching. Now see the confusion is here. You should, though it is in certain places you have to say it is not 0, and in certain places, you will say it is zero. Okay, that is a bit difficult thing in uh, calculus. Means it's an uh, argument. So here, when we are cancelling, we are saying h is not zero because see, when if it is zero, you can't cancel because the function become this becomes undefined. Here we are saying that's not zero; it's only approaching zero, so you can cancel. Okay, and here again, see, if it is zero. This will again be undefined, but we are saying this is not zero. This is almost zero. Okay, so a number, that number which is very close to zero, divided by that same number would give you one. But when you come here, you are saying, okay, this is almost zero. Okay, so in a way you are contradicting yourself, but that's mathematically acceptable. Okay, it's not wrong. Okay, because in this place we are saying, for practical purpose this is 0. So, this is ultimately 8x plus 1. Your answer is 8x plus 1. So, this is dy by dx. Okay. See you in the next video. Thank you.